In this tutorial, we'll create a calendar in Procreate. To get started, we'll create a calendar template we'll use to draw our calendar. So first, we want to turn on Drawing Guide so you have a grid. So we're simply going to mark six spaces for the number of days in the month and seven spaces for the number of days in the week. So it doesn't matter what pencil you use, this is just going to be your foundation. So I'm just marking out right now the days of the week. So of course we'll want to have seven spaces horizontally. And then for July, to fill in the days of the month, we're going to need six spaces vertically. And I'm just marking every third box in the grid to make sure that it's nice and even. Next, we're just going to draw a straight line from one end of our marks to the other to continue filling out our template for the calendar. So to create straight lines in Procreate, you just draw a line and then hold it when you get to the end of the line and that will snap to a perfectly straight line. Next, let's open the Layers panel and reduce the opacity of our template. Tap with two fingers on the layer and then slide with your finger or your pen to the left to reduce the opacity. Next, we're gonna tap on our calendar layer to start filling in our calendar. And I'm going to select a brush, it's Lisa's Pencil from Lisa Glan's Delicious Texture Collection, but I wanna modify this brush by tapping on the uh, stroke path and increasing the streamline of the pencil so that it makes it a little bit easier to write and keep our lettering smooth and even. I click done to make those changes. And then I'm going to select a dark green color and start filling in the days of the week. Next, I'm going to select a lighter green color to enter in the numbers for the month. And starting with the first day for July will be on a Thursday, just filling in the days of the month. Next, let's go to our layers panel and we can turn off our calendar template now that we've filled in everything we need. And we can also turn off our drawing guide so we can remove the grid. Now I'd like to select this calendar and make it a little bit smaller. Make sure uniform is on so that we keep it even and just slide your pencil or finger down to decrease the size of the calendar and then center it, uh, center it horizontally and we're going to leave it just a little below center vertically. Next, I'm just opening up my layers panel and going to my month template. And what I did for this is just insert a photo, a screenshot of a font. This is a free font from Google Fonts and I'm just resizing it to where I want it uh, to fall within the calendar. And I'm actually just going to trace this. I'm not a great hand letterer, so if you're like me, then just take a screenshot of a font. Just make sure it's free or, or one that you already own. Just tapping above an object or to the side of an object actually just nudges it into place in Procreate. And next, I'm going to select my color. I'm still going to use uh, Lisa's pencil, just increase the size a little bit and I'm going to simply trace over my template on a new layer called month. And now we can go back to our layers panel and just turn off our month template. And I want to clean this up a little bit now that I have taken off the template. I see I need to fill this in a little bit further. Next, I'm just going to select the word July and just tap it into place. Again, just tapping your pencil near an object will nudge it into place. And I want to make sure it's centered as well. Next, we'll fill the background with a pattern. I'm going to select a brush that is the first pattern of the month from my Pattern of the Month Club. And I'm going to select this dark green color and make sure we're on the pattern layer. Then just run my pencil across the screen 
make sure that you run your pencil across the screen without lifting it up. So you wanna do this across the entire canvas without ever lifting your pencil. Otherwise, you will uh, overwrite the pattern, which will give you a slightly darker image wherever you have um, gone over the pattern twice if you lift your pencil. So just make sure that you're not lifting your pencil and just filling in um, from top to bottom all the way across the entire canvas. We wanna make sure the whole canvas is filled with this pattern. I'm selecting the layer called paint that I have created and I'm going to add a square using Trailhead Designs Ultimate Brush Collection uh, from their acrylic pack. I'm going to select a brush here that's fairly opaque and this is going to what this is going to be what appears behind the calendar so that uh, the calendar can be visible above the pattern. So I'm going to select a light cream color and I'm first just going to draw a square and again similar to how you draw a straight line and procreate if you just draw the square and then hold it down once you complete the square it'll, it'll snap to um, a perfect square and you can select square as your option and then I'm just going to um, draw over this because I really just want the square to indicate uh, where I'm gonna paint but I want the actual square to look hand-painted I want it to have rough edges so I'm just gonna go over it and keep it pretty random. And you can see here that we're starting to be able to see again the calendar. Next, I'm going to select the object we just created and just tap to nudge it into place, basically centering it where we want the calendar to appear. Now I wanna create an effect that duplicates the paint layer and gives it some depth. So I'm actually just going to duplicate this layer and just rename it to shadow and I'm going to create the right shadow first and then we're going to go back and create the left shadow. I'm going to select a gray color, a dark gray, and just drag and drop. You can't see this until I start nudging it. So I'm going to select the layer we just created and again just tap to the bottom and to the right just a few times and it's very subtle but it creates just the subtle illusion that the paint is um, sort of more real and has that texture and depth to it. I'm also going to change uh, the effect to multiply here and reduce the opacity again to make it look a little bit more natural. And then I'm going to duplicate this again and this is going to be the shadow to the left. And what I'm going to do, since I nudged it three times, I want to nudge it three times again above and three times to the left to get it back in place. And then I nudge it again three times. So it'll be about equal, about three or four times. So now we have our shadow. Finally, I just want to add some subtle texture. So I'm going to go to the layer I created called Texture. And I'm going to go back to Trailhead Designs Ultimate Brush Pack. And first I'm going to select a light gray, kind of taupe color. I'm going to reduce the opacity a bit of this. I'm going to select a texture from the Ultimate Brush Pack called Light Canvas. And then, again, just sliding your brush across the entire screen without lifting up will create the seamless texture of canvas across the entire print. And if I zoom in, you can see that texture looks really nice. And then I'm just going to set that to multiply and then bring down the opacity just a bit more to around 25%. And we're done.